Welcome back everyone. I'm excited to share with you a very recent delivery. This literally just showed up and I'm very excited to finally have this two pack in hand. Not to mention that this duel happened so long ago in the Kenobi series and it's actually, you know, a pretty decent battle and man, about time that we have these figures in hand. Very cool stuff. We're seeing that excellent Darth Vader figure that we've had and just taking it to another level. And of course we have Obi-Wan who is for the most part a retool but his tunic offers a lot of possibilities for the future in the Vintage Collection and possible Jedis. So, very exciting set, but with that being said, let's take a closer look at the packaging and each one of these figures. Taking a look at the packaging, we have a box that's, you know, kind of similar to the deluxe style offerings that we see, but this is a little different because we're getting two Vintage Collection carded figures inside. So, the nice thing is this box will help keep those protected, and in theory, you know, you should be getting a very nice sample. Uh, taking a look at it, it says Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi, and then we have an image here of the two figures and a nice little toy photography setting, uh, dueling it out, and then we have a nice little icon here showing us, you know, the two figures that are carded and inside this set. Kenner logo down below, and all in all, a pretty good look in front of the box. On the side, we have a nice image of Obi-Wan with this beautiful turquoise background that just really helps him pop. Uh, really like that. And on the other side, we have Darth Vader on a yellow background, which is very typical Darth Vader. We see that a lot for his name pill color, yellow. And just look at the detail on that helmet. This looks fantastic for a 3.75 figure. And I can't wait to see the actual figure that's inside this set. On the back, we have a nice star type of galaxy image and both of the carded figures that are included in this set. So all in all, a pretty cool two pack. And let's take a look at the figures inside. And taking a look at how the carded figures are packed inside, you have them, you know, kind of nicely stacked in there. And then they just slide out on this cardboard insert. So there you go. There should be maybe tissue paper on the back to protect this, but I guess it's not a deal breaker. And then there we have some pretty nice minty cards protected tissue paper. So there's no nasty bubble indent that we've been seeing. And yeah, great stuff right there. And first up, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi Showdown, naturally on an Obi-Wan Kenobi card back. And we have a fantastic image of the character there with his lightsaber ignited and just all that blue light illuminating everything. Looks really good with the Kenner logo down below and just this turquoise name pill color, lots of different blue tones, and I absolutely love it. Additionally, we have this fantastic looking figure on a bubble, so pretty great stuff. And on the back, he's VC290 in the line, and you can see some images of the most recent wave of Vintage Collection figures. So all in all, this will definitely make a fine addition to our Obi-Wan Kenobi collection, and I am really excited for this figure, just because there's a lot of potential for some Jedi tunics and, you know, possible retooling of this character to really bring some of our Jedi figures up to, you know, modern standards. So, phenomenal stuff. And taking a look at Obi-Wan out of the packaging, I've got to say that he's absolutely phenomenal. A huge improvement to the face sculpt from the previous one from like the mainline release and even that like a uh, three pack that we got. Just a way better looking portrait of Ewan McGregor in my opinion. Also, the soft plastic here does not hinder anything, so he's got some really good range of movement. These are the same legs that we've seen on the previous releases, so you know there's going to be lots of good articulation there with the rocker ankles, ball jointed everything, new style hips. So yeah, really good stuff. Uh, he comes with the same accessories that we've seen before, so the blaster pistol, lightsaber, and then you know his hilt that can go onto his belt right there. So really cool stuff, really liking this one. And like I said, it's cool to get, you know, this Jedi tunic in because that, you know, tooling could go towards a lot of different Jedi that need huge upgrades to our collections. A lot of them are, you know, just not up to today's standards in terms of, you know, the articulation and just all sorts of stuff. But yeah, really liking this figure and out of the package, he is phenomenal. Moving on, we have Darth Vader duels and on an Obi-Wan Kenobi card back, and we have a fantastic image of Darth Vader as he lands on that planet, ignites his red lightsaber, and is ready to face off with Obi-Wan. We got the Kenner logo down below, and just all in all, this is a fantastic image of Darth Vader. Really like this one. And of course, we have that wonderful Darth Vader that many of us are very familiar with, and slightly retooled with a new damaged helmet. And you can see that Anakin Skywalker face just beneath it, and yeah, very excited to get this one open. Fantastic looking card and figure. And on the back, he's VC 291 in the line. 
And as I mentioned before, this is a wonderful image of Darth Vader. So this is going to look great in your carded collection. I will definitely have to get another one just for my Kenobi collection, but also my Imperial carded collection. And taking a closer look at Darth Vader out of the packaging, I've got to say that the detail is there. Really, really remarkable work that they did at this scale. Um, you can see that, you know, the eyes don't really match up super perfectly, but I was kind of fiddling around with it, taking the helmet off, taking the cape off, popping everything, and just trying to align it better. Um, I got pretty close when you don't snap it back onto the peg, but definitely needs to be like kind of worked a little bit but for the most part I think that lines up and I'm pretty happy with it just because the amount of detail on that face sculpt is just phenomenal. Uh, here you can see the accessories he comes with. He comes with his classic saber and the unlit hilt which are pretty much the same as most of the other releases and of course you can put the hilt onto his belt still. Taking a closer look at his paint apps on his chest readout, you can see it's all scarred up from when he gets slashed by Obi-Wan and that's some really good detail as well. Let's we'll see if we can get that to focus and yeah very impressive in my opinion. And then the helmet. This comes off pretty easily, kind of similar to the one we got recently for Return of the Jedi. And there it is, a really, really nice portrait of Darth Vader. And I got to say, once again, very impressed with the work that they are doing. And just taking a closer look at this too and the damage and like scarring on it, looks pretty good. So very impressive. I still probably would prefer a sculpted helmet you know, just one giant piece, but it's probably way easier to do it like this instead of trying to fit some paint applications in there. And like, you know, it's kind of a tight space. So all in all, looks good. And then something else to note out is that the back of his cape has, you know, a slash mark on it and it's all torn up. So that's pretty cool. I definitely have to iron this out to get all these creases, but I like that little detail. I think it could maybe be a little bit more like beat up on the bottom, but that's, of course, something that'll probably happen over time, and I can just do that myself. But other than that, it's the same Vader that we've been seeing with all that great articulation, rocker ankles, new style hips, you know, ball jointed everything. And yeah, I've got to say, this is a nice release. Very happy to get it. Whether you really enjoyed the series or simply were okay with it, there is no denying that the Kenobi series has delivered some incredible articulation to the Vintage Collection tooling library, helping expand the number of figures we have gotten and what can be made. Obi-Wan Kenobi Showdown sports a newly sculpted Jedi tunic upper body that will hopefully spark a number of updates to these types of classic characters. Kenobi comes fully loaded with all the modern articulation we can now expect with new releases in the vintage collection, and posing is almost effortless due to the ball jointed elbows, hips, knees, and rocker ankles. My only critique is that the sculpting on the sleeves hinders the wrist articulation, but with a simple 180 rotation of the forearm, they will articulate for some decent lightsaber strikes. Darth Vader Duel's End is a nice update to the already spectacular Dark Times release that has set the standard for definitive Vaders in the Vintage Collection. The figure now sports new shoulder armor that is still attached but separated from the edges of the rest of the armor, allowing for even more range of motion. In addition to the well-designed, removable battle-damaged helmet, Vader sports a new upper torso and soft goods cape that of course have battle damage and wear to them, which has been done very well in my opinion. Lastly, while I'm not a fan of removable helmets, this one has been done fairly well and the Hayden Christensen head sculpt is spot on. All in all, this two-pack is a nice addition to our collections, and while it has been many, many moons since the Kenobi series was on and relevant, I am grateful to finally have these two added to the line. Both figures are partial retools of already exceptionally well-articulated figures that will have no problems achieving a number of dynamic poses as we recreate this epic duel. Although, I think many of us can agree that it would have been nice to see these two figures closer to when this final showdown actually occurred. And of course, there are still a number of characters we need from the Kenobi series, such as the Inquisitors, Ned B, Tarla, and Little Leia. I hope you've enjoyed this video and taking a look at these two figures from the latest Vintage Collection 2-pack, Obi-Wan Kenobi Showdown and Darth Vader Duel's End. Feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. It really helps and is always greatly appreciated. Thanks everyone and may the force be with you.